And so finally we got Hunter versus Orton. And Hunter wore a shirt, and he wasn't in ring shape. But damn, he looked fine. I mean, they only went three minutes, but it was 100 miles an hour the whole time. All brawling. Hunter dropped him across the announce table. He goes to get the sledgehammer. The lights start flickering. Hunter gets in the ring with the sledgehammer. The lights flicker again. Suddenly he lifts up his sledgehammer. It's magically on fire. And the lights go out again. And Hunter Hearst Helmsley vanished. He disappeared off the face of the earth. Has he been found? Uh, Trump might might be calling and find out, but I don't know about anybody else. I hadn't thought about that. He can't yeah. tweet it, I know that. The guy <laughs> vanished on the face of the earth. And by the way, the best part for, of the for vanishing... People don't know, for people who don't know the story on, on the Trump, years and years ago when they did the skit where Vince Vince got in a car wreck, Trump actually... like contacted. It wasn't a car wreck. It was when his limo exploded. Right. And, and, and yeah, when the limo exploded. That's right. And, and Trump actually like was watching the show and he contacted wwe just because he thought that vince had actually died yes yes and we elected him president yes so uh anyway uh we should we should have we should have tito watch raw (laughs) the best part about this last thing is they're doing this brawl and tito could probably explain all these things to us (laughs) i highly doubt it they're actors playing roles nobody could explain this so there's this giant gash on randy orton's face from the brawl so Hunter disappears. All his of a sudden, cheek. his cheek is magically healed, and he's in the ring. There's no blood, and he looks in the corner, and there's Alexa Bliss, and she looks at him. And all of a sudden, they do the most preposterous science fiction meteor flies from Alexa into the face of Randy. It was so hokey, so corny, and Randy Orton falls down. He literally rolls on the mat, writhing and screaming for 45 seconds. Longer than Matt Hardy was unconscious after he fell off that thing and hit his head on the cement. We had to watch 45 seconds of Randy Orton rolling on the mat and screaming as his eyes are burned. Well, at least he's selling Dude, it. this sucked. It was very... This is shit. This, this stuff is so bad. Yeah, well, if you want realistic wrestling, you did not get any of it. Um, they're going in a, you know, they're going in a different direction. Um, what we'll evidence s- do we have that this shit with the fiend is is like anybody cares about it? Do we have any evidence whatsoever? <clears throat> he sells a lot of merchandise. So that's what we have for evidence. That this is over. I, I don't know. I don't know. We, you know, I like, would think with the mask and shit, like he'd sell merchandise, whether he did magic or not. Yeah. Well, the pro- the problem the problem is is we got no fans. And with no fans, you you lose a very important thing. Because if there were fans at this, number one, if there were fans, they wouldn't do this because you couldn't do jump cuts and shit like this, right? I mean, you couldn't be doing it. So um, they're taking advantage of the fact that there's no fans. But if there were fans and they booed it, you know, it might, you know, they, it, Vince at first probably would still do it because sometimes he thinks that that's good heat. But... In the long run, if it doesn't work and the fans just crap on it for long enough, you know, he'll he'll go, okay, it's not working. Um, but now we don't have that luxury. We don't have we don't have fans. So there's nobody to say anything and you know, and ratings are different anyway. You know, I mean sometimes stuff like that works in ratings, sometimes it doesn't. I mean, time will tell. And they're you know, and that's what they're a ratings animal. But I mean I I watched all this Lucha, that stuff in Lucha Underground with the science fiction stuff, and I all I know is that Lucha Underground ratings declined um, at the end. When the further they got out of the realm of of in, into the realm of ridiculousness, the ratings did go down. Now, granted, it's a smaller audience and all that, and um, you know it's not WWE WWE fans at this point. Um, it's you know it's the major league, so you kind of people will 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 give them. You know, chance after chance after chance. A lot of people walked away, obviously. You, you know, that's that's obvious, too. But, um, yeah, I, I, it's, not for, it's not for me as a fan. I watched it, and it's like, this is just dumb. I, I felt this was like a very bad show um, for the most part. I mean, I mean, we didn't even have the good wrestling matches. So, yeah, I thought this was just a bad show. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio... We got 12,000 episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, wrestlingobserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. 
the 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week. You can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work, working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.